Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. It's nice to be back filming. Last week I pre-filmed the video that came out, so it has been a long time since I filmed. So I did a poll on Twitter and Instagram to see what you guys wanted to see from me. As you can see from the title, I ended up choosing a Patrick Star tutorial to follow. He's an amazing makeup artist and I thought it would be a really fun video to make. So that's what I'm gonna do today and I have a ton of makeup in front of me. So with all that being said, we will see how this turns out. If you end up liking the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you end up liking my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with my videos. If you don't like it, don't watch this. With all that being said, I think it's time. Let's follow this tutorial and see if I can make myself look like Patrick Starr. All right guys, so hair is up. We have moisturized and prepped our skin. Let's get into the video. So the one that I picked was the Manny MUA Makeup Geek Collab Smoky Eye Tutorial by Patrick Starr. And in this video, he is using a Manny MUA Collab product and basically featuring that, but he does do the entire face, so that's why I chose it. Let's watch. All right, so first I'm gonna take my Benefit Pore Professional Primer to smooth out all the bumps and lumps on my skin. So it looks like at the 140 mark, he starts the tutorial, and what he does is he goes in with his Benefit Pore Professional Primer. So that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna take that. It looks like he does go all over the face, but for me, I just go on my nose area. For the rest of my face, because he does go in on the cheeks and forehead, I'm gonna use my Smashbox Radiance Primer, which I've been using lately ever since I did the Sondra Deluxe tutorial. I really like it. Next, I'm gonna take my favorite foundation ever, the Dior Air Flash in the color 500, and spritz this all over my face for a full Manny MUA coverage. So he goes in with the Dior Air Flash. I don't have that either, I, sorry. I'm gonna go on the total opposite spectrum here and go with a drugstore product. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Superstay in the color 220 natural beige. I'm just gonna pop that on the back of my hand. I'm gonna dot that over my face and then we will blend in with a brush like he did. I love using a dual fiber brush with this foundation. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. brush. It's the ultimate blending brush by them. It's similar. I think this one might be a little bit denser. Anyway, we're gonna blend this out mainly dip stippling it into the skin and a little bit of blending over top of that. All right, foundation is on. Felt really weird using a brush instead of my normal beauty blender, but it worked and it looks pretty good. Let's see what's next. <laughs> His shirt's dirty, which mine is as well. Since I'm going for that Manny look, he loves this concealer by Makeup Forever, so I love this concealer. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer. Okay, so it looks like next is concealer. He's using a Makeup Forever concealer, which I also don't have. But don't worry, what I n saw in another video is he used the Clinique Beyond Perfecting 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer. This is in the shade Alabaster, which clearly is not my shade, but it will work as a really light concealer, and the Makeup Forever one that he's using is super light on his skin. Under, it's a lot underneath, but here, let's do this. And I'm going to blend everything with my favorite G toothbrush. This is my favorite. He's using another Morphe brush to blend out the foundation. I don't have another brush that's small enough to blend concealer because I really just use my beauty blender. So that's what I'm going to use because I just don't think I can achieve that look otherwise. All right, we are blended out. Let's see what he's doing next. So next I'm going to bake under my eyes using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder with my powder puff. I know it looks dirty, but yeah, I gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. Okay. <coughs> oh my gosh, that's so much powder. Okay, uh, okay. But because he's using a translucent powder, I'm gonna use my RCMA No Color Powder, which is translucent. I'm gonna take that with a beauty blender and put on as much as he did, which is a lot. I don't know if I put on even more than he did. Why did I do this? Let me see what else he does. All right, so I'm using Laura Mercier under my eyes, but I'm gonna take my airs, I'm gonna use it all over the rest of my face because you know, she has a big face and she ain't got enough money to be wasting Laura Mercier everywhere else. Everywhere else. Okay, so he goes in with the Cody Airspun, which they don't sell here, so I don't think they sell in Canada anyway. I've never seen it. He uses a different powder mainly because the Laura Mercier is expensive. I don't have Laura Mercier and this RCMA powder is pretty cheap actually, so I'm just gonna go in with this and it's translucent. Oh my gosh, yeah, he's just smacking it on his face. I should use the big end. 
Okay, I'm just gonna smack it on my face. All right, you guys, now for the start of the show, I'm going to be taking the Manny MUA palette brought to you by Makeup Geek. So basically, he's using the Manny MUA Makeup Geek palette. I do not have that, but I did recently buy the Morphe 350 palette. So the first shade he's using is just like a transition shade, and he's going in on the crease. I'm gonna go in with this one here with a fluffy blending brush just in my crease. Oh, he did his brows. Oh. I'll be right back. All right, so I did my brows off camera like he did, apparently, I think. Just wiggle and blend. Blending is your best friend no matter how fucked up it's gonna look. Yeah. Okay, it looks like he used a little bit of a darker color, kind of closer to this part and this part. Kind of starting the halo effect. So I'm gonna go in with this brown shade here in the palette and I'm gonna place some colors with the same blending brush on just like the inner and outer corners. So next I'm going to take this double-ended Anastasia brush. I'm going to take the fluffy side and dip it into the shade, this red shade called Mars, and use this on the inner and outter third of my eye to create the halo eye. I go in with my Smashbox eyeshadow brush. It's kind of like a packing brush, but a little bit less dense. I'm going to go in with this red shade in the palette. Um, the red he's using almost looks pink on the eye. And he's just using it on the inner corner and kind of just placing the color there. Oh, this is coming out a little pinky too. Okay, good. And then he does connect them. Going a little bit higher with it because so it shows up. His looks a lot higher. With the fluffy brush that he used at the beginning and just using the first color to blush, um, blend out the edges. So I'm going to go back in with this neutral shade here and go over our start of our halo eye here. Now that it's blended, I'm going to take Aphrodite, the darkest shade in the palette, and I'm going to intensify those inner and outer corners. So we're going to go in with this dark brown here. I just wiped off the brush that we just used for the red shade, so I'm going to go in with that one, and we're going to intensify in the outside and inner corner, like he does. Okay, let's see what he's going in with next. So next, I was debating on whether to use Insomnia or Luna on the center of the lid, but I'm leaning towards Luna. If you guys want to see a tutorial on Insomnia, let me know, but I really want to try this shade out. So I'm going to take my flat brush and use Luna. So I'm going to use a flat shader brush like he did. This one's a little bit smaller. My eye's smaller, so that's why I'm doing that. I'm going to use the shimmer shade that's right here on the center of the lid like he did, which he's using different shadows, obviously. He's packing on quite a bit, so I'm gonna do the same. This is literally gorgeous. I love that. Love it. Let me go to the other eye, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I finished my shadow, and then I did my wing liner because I noticed that he comes back with the wing liner on. So I'm gonna take my lash color and my roller lash and curl my lashes up to Jesus. Okay, so we are curling our lashes up to Jesus. So my lash curler here. So I will curl my lashes very carefully using my Bad Gal Bang Mascara because I don't have my roller lash. I don't know where it is. I know I do have one, but I don't know where the heck it is right now. And this will work. It is the newest mascara from Benefit. The lashes he's using look very voluminous. I'm gonna layer one pair of these, which is the Kiss Lashes in 11. I think these are Ardell lashes. I think these are the 812s. And I'll be right back. All right, we are back. The lashes are applied. All right, so now I'm gonna dust off all this air spun. We are in a rush. Okay, so now he's dusting off the powder. Let's see where he's doing everywhere. I'm trying to look cute for the seafood we about to eat. This is my favorite powder foundation of all time. This is the Make It Forever Pro Finish Powder. I like more coverage, so I'm going to simply just take this Marc Jacobs foundation brush or powder brush and dust this all over my face. I don't know if it's the powder that I used, but my nose looks really bad, especially like right here. So hopefully this, I'm using my Care Blend Press Powder from MAC because that's the only color powder that I have and we're going in and he's basically using it all over his face. Next, I'm gonna take the same Make It Forever Pro Finish Powder in a lighter color and highlight under the eye. I'm almost out of powders, but I do have one random really light powder and it is this Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Pressed Powder. I'm gonna use a little blush brush that I usually use for brush and I'm gonna go 
under the eye to highlight. Next, I'm gonna take my Marc Jacobs Tan Trip Bronzer with my Morphe E42 brush. Love this color for my skin tone. I've been watching so many of his videos in the past 24 hours and I noticed he uses Hula bronzer a lot, so that's what I'm gonna use. And he says he uses like an angled fluffy brush, so I'm gonna use this one from uh, Bamboo Naturals. And we are going to bronze. Don't mind my texture, we're gonna fix that in Facetune. <laughs> you just sent me a Facetune. Next, I'm just gonna snatch my nose using my e.l.f. fan brush. And, oh, my fan brush is all effed up, but I'm gonna use it anyway. I'm gonna take Mars and Aphrodite, and I'm going to take this on a small smudger brush under the lash line. Okay, so next he's smoking out the bottom eyelid, and he uses the red shade that we use. We'll use the shade here, and then we're mixing it with the dark brown shadow, which is all the way over here. And then he's just doing some lower lash mascara, which I can do. I'm gonna go in with my Bad Gal Bang mascara because it's right next to me. Let's see what he's finishing up with. And I like to take this with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. Exactly what it is. It really perfects the under eye. I feel like my under eye looks pretty good. I'm just gonna do a little bit, I guess. How much was this? This was like eight dollars compared to a Charlotte Tilbury powder, which is probably like super, super expensive. All right, What's you guys know the drill. This is my favorite blush. I don't really have any pinky blushes other than this Tarte blush, but I don't know where it is. But anyway, this is the blush that I'm going to go in with. He's using a totally different brush. I'm using this brush. It's amazing. So right before we do the lips, I'm going to take the new Anastasia oh, Brow Definer. So I'm going to take this Marc Jacobs pencil. I believe it's in the color Primrose. Okay, we're going to lips. I don't know where all my lip liners are, but I only have this one. The shade is Cocoa Plum by Gosh, but I think they're discontinued, so you can't really get this. But it's just like a nude, kind of a darkish nude color, but we're going to... Just use it to line our lips, which he looks like he overdrew his. Just kind of looks like it. Uh, this is Buff by Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Lipstick. So I'm gonna do this. Like I love this, the formula, the gloss, everything. So that lipstick was completely the wrong color. So I added the shade Perla from the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks, and I added that on top of the Buff that we already had down. Finally, he uses a gloss just in the center of his lips. And I'm using the Fenty Balm Gloss. And he just uses it in the center. And that's the final look, guys. Hey, guys, so I'm back with the final, final look. I have popped in my TTDI contacts in Queen Grey. It looks like Patrick was wearing contacts through the whole video, but I just wanted to pop them in at the end just to show you the final, final look. I think the skin looks really good. The only area for me that it doesn't look as good, I would say, is probably the nose area. I mean, it still looks fine, and it probably looks better than what I normally do, but I think it looks a little bit more cakey here. I really, really like how the RCMA No Color Powder worked on the cheek area and forehead. It looks flawless. I've never seen my cheek area look this poreless and like I don't know just not as textured and I really really like it I'm dying to put on some highlighter because I just think ugh, it would be look so good with highlighter right now I think it would just pop I do like the really bronzy look and how it really snatched us in the lightened look under the eye I think it looks wonderful I think the skin looks really good it's just this nose area that I'm like eh, it looks a little cakey and my pores look a little like Hello. I think I am going to use this baking method definitely on the perimeters of my face with this no color powder from now on because I love it. I really, really like the shimmer shade that we used on the lid. It is gorgeous and it really catches the light very nicely and I, I really love it. So zooming back out guys, I hope you enjoyed watching me follow this tutorial. I had a great time. I think Patrick is so funny and he's amazing. I think he's a really, really great makeup artist. I mean, he's never going to see this, but I just really, I really like his techniques. I really think he knows what he's doing. His experience at MAC really shows through and he knows his skin best and I think that method that he uses works best for his skin and it definitely worked for parts of my skin it just it doesn't work for all of it because I'm a, I'm a little bit of a mix of a combo sensitive dry that's it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it again and I hope you're having an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world and I hope I see you very very soon in my next video bye guys